हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 2.9 चैप्टर 2 द वर्किंग फ्लूइड बुक अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय टीडी स्टॉप एंड मिकॉन्की द स्टेटमेंट इज ऑक्सीजन एट 200 बार इज टू बी स्टोर्ड इन अ स्टील वेसल एट 20 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड Capacity of the vessel is 0.04 cubic meter. Assuming that oxygen is a perfect gas, calculate the mass of oxygen that can be stored in the vessel. The vessel is protected against excessive pressure by a fusible plug, which will melt if the temperature rises too high. At what temperature? must the plug melt to limit the pressure in the vessel to 240 bar the molar mass of oxygen is 32 kg per kilo mole so first we will write the given data pressure initially we have p1 pressure that is 200 bar also the temperature t1 is 20 degree centigrade so converting it to kelvin we will add to 73 so we will get 2 9 3 kelvin also the volume of the vessel is that is v and it is 0.04 cubic meter we will assume that oxygen is a perfect gas so we will use the perfect gas equation for the solution of this problem also molar mass of oxygen is given that is 32 kg per kilo mole we have to find two things in this problem first we will find the mass of oxygen and second we will find the value of temperature at which the plug melts before it melt so temperature t2 is required So starting the solution of this problem <laughs> using the characteristic equation of state for this gas that is oxygen so we can write directly that pv is equal to mrt so here we have values of temperature t1 p1 and also v is given that is v1 here the vessel volume is fixed so we can write that v1 is equal to v2 is equal to v and it is equal to 0.4 cubic meter we are given p1 that is 200 bar v1 0.04 cubic meter t1 which is 293 kelvin 
and we are interested to find the value of m r is required so before going to find the value of m which is m is equal to p1 v1 over r t1 we will first find the value of r so how can we find the value of r r is simply equal to r bar divided by m bar where r bar is the universal gas constant and m bar is the molar gas constant the value of r bar is same for all types of gases and it is 1.3143 kilojoule per kilo mole per kilowatt so we will divide it by molar mass which is 32 kg per kilo mole so simplifying this we will get 0.26 kJ per kg per kilo so this is the value of r now in this equation we also found the value of r so putting the values in uh, expression a so expression a will become m is equal to this is actually the mass of oxygen which contains in the vessel so it is equal to p1 is 200 bar so converting it to pascal we will multiply it in its power 5 value of volume initially and after increasing the pressure the value of volume remains same which is 0.04 and we will divide it by r which is 0.26 kJ per kg so we will convert to j per kg per kg into the value of t1 is 293 so simplifying this the mass of oxygen comes out 10.5 kg so we here we found the mass of oxygen which is part one of this problem part two we have to find the value of t2 for that we know that at pressure p1 equal to 200 bar and at pressure p2 equal to 240 bar given in the problem the volume of the vessel remains same as discussed earlier so if we write the characteristic equation for state so we can write that p1 v1 is equal to mr t1 so v1 will be equal to mr t1 over p1 also we can write that p2 v2 is equal to mr t2 so if we extract v2 from this v2 will be equal to mr t2 over p2 so as v1 is equal to v2 so also right hand side will be equal to mr t1 over p1 is equal to mr t2 Over P2, M is constant, which is 10.5 kilogram. R is constant. Only in this expression, T1 by P1 is equal to T2 by P2. These values are present. T1, T2, and P1. p2 we are interested to find the value of t2 so 
rearranging this expression t2 is equal to t1 over p1 into p2 so putting the values the value of t1 is 293 kel 1 and the value of p1 is 200 bar also the value of p2 is 240 bar here we don't convert bar into Pascal because the bar will cancel with each other in the numerator and denominator. So simplifying this, the value of T2 comes out 351.6 Kelvin. So converting it to degree centigrade we will subtract 273 from this so it becomes equal to 78.6 degree centigrade so this is the required temperature in part 2 so we found the values of uh, mass of oxygen and the temperature that is the safe temperature and the value of it is 78.6 degree. So this is all about problem 2.9. Thanks for watching. Please like and comment on my videos. Also subscribe my channel to get new videos.